This episode of More Stories with Rufus Wainwright. Oh, yeah. That's brought to you by Stamps.com. They get to put their name on it. I dig it. When you're running a small business, your hours are not the traditional nine to five. You work around the clock. So the limited hours of the post office can be frustrating. That's why you need Stamps.com, my friends. Get postage on demand right from your desk whenever you need it, 24-7, 365, and then whatever amount of years would be. 100. 100 is a cent, thousand, millennium. Do it. Stamps.com. Buy and print official U.S. postage. Using your own computer and printer, get everything from stamps to shipping labels the instant you need it. Then just hand it over to your letter carrier. You don't need an expensive postage meter anymore. Only fools have those. Plus, you'll never have to go to the post office again. You can go other places. We use Stamps.com here at Fake Mustache Studios. We can do anything with it. We send out merch. We return fan letters. You know what you could do? Why don't you write a fan letter to Rufus Wainwright telling him you heard him on more stories? And then he'll say, hey, that was cool. What's stamps.com? It's right here. It's in front of me. No risk trial. $110 bonus offer. That includes a digital scale and up to $55 free postage. Don't wait. Go to stamps.com before you do anything else. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage. Type in more, M-O-H-R. That's stamps.com. Enter more. Put your name on it. Just put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or a woman. Put your name on it. Well, I'd like to hear about it, potheads. How the fuck you gonna know how to be great if you don't study greatness? Look at the game change. Donuts. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, you're not a bad looking man, Mr. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. There's something wrong with us. Something very, very wrong with us. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Clear your cookies. Come on, guys. Get the uh, jmore.com up on your toolbar. And when you go to jmore.com, click the Amazon link. Then you can buy anything you want for yourself. Buy yourself a present. Hooray! I've been good. Now I'm going to buy myself something on jmore.com using the Amazon link. Do it. Email me what you bought. I will read it on the air. Go ahead. Clear your cookies and put jmore.com on your toolbar of your computer and click on that whenever you want to go to Amazon. (laughs) Thank you. By the way, this hotel, I don't know if you know it, I believe used to be an assisted living old folks home. Oh, really? Well, I'm about ready for that. (laughs) So it's good to be here. I've been on the road for a while. Ooh, see, that's my... Catheter. That's my catheter. That was Angie. Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is it a mobile cath? Have you seen the Have you seen those commercials for the mobile catheter? Yeah, it's mobile and running away from me at the moment. No. Have you seen those commercials? <laughs> they actually have commercials for like my old catheter was such a hassle, but really? now I get really? cath on the. They use cath as a oh, verb. Oh boy. Well, okay. Hey, why don't you tell let's that change guy? the subjects. All right. Well, <laughs> you, you brought it up. In all fairness, uh, l- let's tell this guy that's probably enough tape. You know, uh, we're not redoing Madison. Thank you, brother, very much. I appreciate okay, it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You uh, are a big get for us to have on uh, on the podcast. We, we uh, I told you off mic. My wife and I actually listened to Beautiful Child picking our son up from the hospital. Yeah, I showed you the video, which I'll now have to put up on the website. You seem to um, like New York more than LA. Is that fair? No, no. I I I I've, on this last album actually, I have a, a really nice song about LA called "Sometimes You Need" and and my daughter Viva. Um, was born in, at Cedars in L.A., and, and she's going to be mostly centered around here So, with her mom. And uh, so I'm going to be spending a lot more time in L.A., and so I got I better like it. <laughs> but no, I love, I love New York. I love New York, but I don't know. I like being in one... I like being in the same toilet for, like, four days. <laughs> four days? Like yeah, that. give me the same toilet for four days, Four days, happy. bro. Yeah. <laughs> It seems like, well, New York seems, I mean, I've lived both, and it seems like there's definitely an energy in New York that isn't yeah. here. No. There is no. a, you know, the, there's no there there. There is a there here. Yeah, yeah, It's just yeah. a very ambiguous, hard to pin down. I think I think L.A. is about the people and the weather, uh, but but it's, uh, but and that's about it. <laughs> it doesn't even have a third thing. But, uh, no, but but it is, well, the, the history is pretty interesting, but, but it is. What about the Lakers, Holmes? Oh. You messed up. Okay. I hate L.A. <laughs> <laughs> now the truth comes out. 
No, I love it here. It's great. It seems like anything bad people have to say about L- L.A. is like this odd compliment. They'll say like, uh, what, are you going to go out to L.A. and relax and do yoga and chill out? <laughs> yeah, and, and get yeah. healthy. And... I didn't know that was so terrible. Yeah. <laughs> 20-year-old angry guy that's bothering me outside Dwayne Reed Drugstore on 14th Street. Or go out and party in a hot tub and do ho- horrible things. <laughs> what are you going to be terrible. illicit in yeah. Los Angeles? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You could be illicit in the desert on a farm. There's everything here. I, I, that, I didn't mean farm. Yeah, try farms. being illicit in upstate New York. And I get guess. get back to me on L.A. Yeah, your neighbors are like. Yeah. <laughs> in Albany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whenever you announce your tour uh, dates, do you immediately get besieged on your website and on Twitter? Like, when you come in and they name like their town? Um, you seem pretty interactive. With yeah, them. I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 I'm, ex- I'm so excited. Um, this, this for this tour because I'm playing Arkansas for the first time. I've never even heard of Arkansas, and um, so I'm, I'm excited to go there. And um, and and I uh, yeah and I and and certainly with with America in general below the belt as I like to call <laughs> the South, um, you know you're kind of. Um, I don't. I don't get to play those places that much. So I. So I have been really looking forward to uh, to seeing that and experiencing that. And I'm probably fooling myself. Do you? Th- Arkansas is where uh, hope and peace go to die. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fair assessment of Arkansas. That's what I said. Not Rufus. You got to go see Rufus. But I will Noah's never. Noah's Ark is in Arkansas. Noah's Ark is in Arkansas. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, that's, that's why nobody's teeth. found it. You had like, hope. you know, Harrison Ford running around the Middle East. Do you feel as... Darn. When you it go says into- it in the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's it with Saw and Arkin. Do you... I never even thought about that. <laughs> that's why you're the writer. Do you feel when you go to those places like Arkansas, and I know you're playing Riverside and okay, the Riverside. Milwaukee at last, of course. Yes. Do, are you sort of like this beacon... Well, this lighthouse on the hill. For- I mean, I am proud of my... I, I have other friends um, besides you, <laughs> and uh, believe it or not, but uh, other artists like um, my friend Anthony from Anthony and the Johnsons and also oh, my friend um, uh, Jason or Jake Shears from the Scissor Sister. I mean, and these are guys who, who uh, are really interesting and amazingly talented and you know, travel the world, but but don't particularly do much in America, mm. and and uh, and I'm even though I'm I wouldn't call myself a household name at all in this country. Um, I do I have made it though I have made an effort to somewhat you know um, to be present I guess in in the discussion in this country and 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 I'm proud of that even though I haven't you know conquered it by any means, but it is. I like the fact that I can go to these weird places well, I think more sp- where people I'm, really need me. I danced around it, I, and you say those <laughs> the people that really Barcelona. need you, yeah. and I, I, I kind of danced around it, but I'll just, I won't be shy. Of, but I mean, when you play L.A. and you play New York, you know there's many people like you. Yeah. And when you go to Arkansas, like how many kids, like you at 15 years old, how much would you love if a guy like Rufus Wainwright rolled no, through town I know. and said, was... hey, this is okay, this is a celebration. Let's no, all, I know. They're going to change freaky. the name of the state. <laughs> Rufus no, wait. Yeah, Rufus R. <laughs> Rufus R. Arkin but uh, but I but I um, no I I do I think it's important to get out there and especially this year or this month one should say with the election coming up and you know I you know all of this ugh, insanity about this debate performance that you know all of a sudden you know changed. I thought you did good man <laughs> I thought you I mean I don't know they're beating you up for it I, I don't thought know. you did good but do you feel on stage can you tell. Not to get surreal. Or, yeah. But can you tell this is a collection of people that's... This is going to sound fucking stupid. And yeah, I apologize. Yeah. But can you tell this is a collection of people? Because we saw you in Long Beach. Right, and right. And it was a very motley crew. Yeah, like, yeah, it was old, yeah, young, yeah. straight, gay, white, black. But when you go to, like, the woods... Can you tell, like, these people sort of come oh, no, out of their I homes Oh, no, I see people this. who come, they've got, you know, hatchets in their back and um, missing limbs and digits from, you know, having, you know, torture. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The honey Boo Boo crew? Yeah. It's and, really uh, a victim of torture. Completely catatonic. Um, so, so no, and, I, and then, then they, they, you know, Is it just another gig or is it? Well, no, it's not. It's not because it is, I will say this, and, I, and I've been playing, you know, I just did Europe, I just did Australia and I did 
Europe recently, and and um, I'm, I will be doing Japan hopefully soon. So, so uh, I've been around, and and I will say that you know hitting the states again, uh, there is something about the audiences here that is that that I don't know they, they it doesn't happen all the time, but nobody gets rowdier, nobody gets more kind of um, enthralled, yeah. and and uh, and really. Um, Involved, you know, and uh, and and as I said, it's not all the time, but but it is, the barometer is is high, you know. Whereas in Spain, you know, you're 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 generally going to get you know an amazing crowd. Um, in America, you never know when it's going to hit you, and is it because Americans are hard? Are they more jaded? Are we just more? They're crazy. We just like we (laughs) want to hear the hits. They're nuts. We just want to hear. They're either really depressed and don't want to talk to anybody, or or they want to kill you with sex. It's a real (laughs) fact. (laughs) <laughs> you, we I saw you in Long Beach and you were one of the only people Streams. you were um, I, I'll just I'm not you were it was the most talent I've ever seen in person oh you did uh, Leaving for Paris yes and I began to cry <laughs> and then you stopped about a bar in and said I'm doing that wrong let me start over and yeah. I looked at my wife I said I'm crying at the part he did wrong <laughs> And uh, then you I knew you were crying, and I was fucking with you. You're like, hold on, yeah, <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> Let's hold on. Let me let Jay get his act together here. Yeah, yeah. Then, uh, but you, you were doing on that tour. I think you really like uh, were really polishing up the sonnets, and you asked the audience yeah. to not applaud between about three or four songs. I and did for the that first then. time oh in my life ever an audience didn't ruin something yeah <laughs> you're the only guy you go to broadway some yeah. assholes getting a rollo wrapper out of their bag yeah, Every, yeah, yeah audiences yeah, yeah. ruin everything you're the only guy to yeah, pull that off yeah yeah well i was very i was i really i have to say i mean i, I don't i don't think i'll do it again because it would just be a little bit um presumptuous I do you suppose. want us to clap in between uh, here? <laughs> only you all right uh, <laughs> Clap, I'll clap. <laughs> clap with your butt cheeks. Okay. Um, but uh, he, he knows me. <laughs> but um, but no. But I I enjoyed that tremendously, and I I I do actually think that applause, not applauding at all, is uh, I don't know. It kind of mounts the uh, the tension and the and the and the, the experience. It makes it you're you can know you you can really lose yourself ease better and it was in bananas. The There's always one guy that'll forget and clap yeah. and you're like this fucking guy. <laughs> just said, but I mean it was a good what would you say twenty minutes and you could have heard a mouse peeing yeah, on cotton yeah. like it was absolute <laughs> silence and it deserved it. It was oh, it was good you. stuff. Thank I mean sh- no no one else is putting Shakespeare sonnets to music. <laughs> when you write, do you hear the music first? Do you have the lyrics first? Uh, well, obviously I have the lyrics first because Shakespeare wrote them. I mean, you're oh, talking about the sonnet. In, in no. other th- when like, you're you know, working, when you're when, writing music when you wrote to the Shakespeare, Shakespeare sonnets, do you have the lyrics or music breaking first? Breaking news on more stories. Rufus Wainwright wrote Shakespeare. <laughs> You got some checks coming, I know, away, buddy. I know. I retroactively <laughs> wrote all Holy Shakespeare's shit. works. You're about to get paid tomorrow. <laughs> That's a big ass check. Um, do you, when you write your songs, do you, mm. is it music first? Is it a hook? Is it a lyric first? Uh, it is. I don't know. It's usually some horrifying experience that nobody should have to go through. So you try to construct uh, a song I, around the experience. That happens, uh, or I just see myself in the mirror after eating a lobster, and um, and then I, uh, you know, song comes out. <laughs> I'm like, well, at least I can do this. But do you try to construct? Yeah, the lobster. <laughs> a little comes bit out. later. Do you try hopefully. to construct a song around a, an a vibe? Is it a horrible experience? I know you. No, I, 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 half I, joking. I, I, I mean, I, I definitely the, the the person you see on stage is 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 the same person uh, backstage, and and I and I definitely have used songwriting to kind of it's an extension of my life, and I don't really. Uh, I I don't experience a lot of um, dry. I don't dry up much, you know, with 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 inspiration. I just I don't know. I I if anything, I could do a little bit more, you know, emailing <laughs> or well, something right. instead of songwriting. I mean, no, I'm more missing, apt to write a song anything. than to re- reply to even you. You yeah, <laughs> I'll accept that. <laughs> 
You I but do, do you hear the, the do you hear a song like when you're walking down St. Mark's Place or something? Yeah. Do you do you hear a hook or do you hear is there a fra- is it a no, phrase I'm, like I what am, sparks am, it usually? I am periodically uh, visited by the muses yeah. um, often, and I, I I'm very lucky for that. I mean, I do so consider and I don't consider it some. I mean, it's, I think it it stems from. The, the initial thrust when I was young of, of you know, I want to do this and I want to be a huge star and I want to write an opera and I want to be Judy Garland. And, and I kind of really spent all my time just hacking away at that beast. And, um, but now, after doing it for a long time, you, you know, you develop some pretty thick artistic muscles and, and it becomes part of your, your being. So, so I just suggest utter insanity for anyone